I think the last time we had you on, it was like the first or second week in your rookie year. Could yeah. you could you mm-hmm. talk about that transition? Because now you got perspective. You've been in the league a few years. That transition mm-hmm. I mean, from college to NFL, like, am I missing anything here? Like, is anything actually changing for you as a punter? Because it's just mm-hmm. the ball and then, I guess, the hash, the hash marks, is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is anything so we're missing? Different. So, I mean, the field of play has changed just a little bit. Um, but the biggest, I mean, the biggest thing is really, like, the mental side of it. You know, it, like like you said, it's the same thing. And you know, if you've been playing football, you can be capable enough. It's just how focused can you be to be able to do it on the highest level instead of the amateur level. And that's like the one thing that I've learned over time. You know, when you're an amateur and you're trying to be professional and and go to that same go to that next leap, you know, you try to do something until you get it right every single time. But when you're in the NFL especially as a specialist, I think that changes from trying to do it do it right every single time to try to do it consistently until you can't get it wrong at all. Mm-hmm. And, like, it sounds the same, but it's, different. it's actually, yeah. different. you know, it's a little bit different because, you know, I go out and I can hit 500 punts in a week and when I'm in high school and college, but in a, in a NFL sense, for a workload sense, I know I can't do that. So I know my reps are going to be more minimal. And at the same time, I also have to get better work in. So, you know, by doing that, you have to get your consistency up. And, you know, that's like the one thing that I've been really trying to focus on is, you know, how can I do this to where it's consistent every time? And, you know, if I have one rep where it's a little skewed or, you know, something's off a little bit, it's always about like that next rep. That's what Coach T tells us Mm -hmm. all the time. I mean, people don't understand it. Like, I, it's not an easy job already by itself, but also when you're in a practice sense, usually the special teams period is when everybody he goes <laughs> chilling and stuff. Yeah, it ain't the same. Honestly, I feel like the special teams periods are some of the most intense periods of the practice because of like what it is. Like uh-huh. we harp on nice. we we harp on starting fast. That starts with special teams during the game. We start with coming out of the half fast. Like we have we like strategically put special teams periods in certain parts of the period in certain parts of practice for a reason. And coach T is literally standing maybe a half a yard to a yard away from me every rep. And yeah, I mean, he's going back and forth and making it competitive. And, you know, we have, we have another punter in the building, uh, Braden man, which is a good friend of mine. And uh, me and him have been going neck and neck with punting and competition and stuff since high school. I and mean, this goes back to like both of y'all Ray Guy Award so. winners, right? If if I remember correctly, yeah. 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 yeah and we and we brought week. in a bunch of Ray Guy Award winners for the, tryouts, the tryout, right? Man, yeah, that's, that's like that's three or four in time. Man. <laughs> man, we done brought too many trophies in. They started getting discredited up here. <laughs> he said, "Hold on, hold on. Who is that from? That don't count, man. I ain't trying to hear that, man." <laughs> man, hey, it's an accomplishment, but in Coach T's eyes, man, he just he he always finds something to kind of get under our skin, and he always brings up those trophies. And he's like, "All right, which one's gonna be more viable today? <laughs> <laughs> which one's gonna be shiny?" <laughs> but but man, it's competition, and you know that's what our that's what our business is you know it's it's like it's in a in a special teams period you know i try not to view it as competition but you know that is exactly what it boils down to and you know we don't really get competition like that during the year you know usually when you get in the year if all of us are healthy i mean we're it's just us three you don't have any other punter kicker or snapper in the building so you know you kind of feel a little bit different and you can you know you know you're the guy, but you also don't get that same competitive edge that everybody else gets in a practice setting. I literally like, was going to ask people. you about that, bro, because I'm like, yeah, it's, you you have legit one v one right now, whereas for yeah, us but, on defense, we never get the one v one. But it's like mm-hmm. year long, you always have somebody that you bump in with. You got someone yeah. that you competing against. But like you said, for you, you go from you and Braden, y'all are at it right now. But yeah. it's like weeks, golf, it no, just oh, I like that yeah. comparison to golf because it it is down to only you though because yeah. like you competing yeah. with other linebackers you're going up against like oh linemen running backs yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. it's just mm-hmm. literally President Harvin and me and and he messes up and me and football. that's yeah. what that's how golf is it's yeah. crazy bro yeah yeah like like punting is an individual position for sure yeah. like it's a lot different than 
any other position on the field. I mean, kicking is also the same way. And uh, I also I also think the same thing as a long snapper because no, it is. I mean, it definitely you is. go back to that first, we you go back to that first game is. last year uh-huh. when we were in Cincy. I mean, you take the, the snapper one of tearing his bicep everything. or something like yeah. that in the game. The whole perspective of the rest of that game changed, changed. everything. And it came up to the last regular uh, regular time period play mm-hmm. for a block field goal to send it to overtime, and that's you know stuff like that happens so fast. Yeah. But at the same time, you just got to go back and like think like. I am the only guy at this point in time. So it really is me versus me. So it's like, you know, I have to keep myself accountable um, and just, you know, stay on top of myself and just be on my P's and Q's. Because sometimes when it is just you, you don't see the sense of, you know, okay, maybe I need to, you know, fix this up a little bit or something like that. You don't see it as fast sometimes. But, you know, Braden is a damn good dude, man. Like, I, I, been going against him since like 2014 or 2015 in high school and I never got the actual opportunity to actually you know get to meet him spend time with him and stuff like that and be friends outside of just competition yeah and you know me and him we've grown our relationship more because of you know him being here but you know I, I told myself I'm not, I can't have hard feelings about stuff like that because it's not something that you know I don't view as you know I'm not I'm not welcome here. I don't want to be, you know, the guy here or anything like that anymore. Like that's, that stuff is, you know, that's clutter. That's, that's all that stuff is. Like I told myself, like if, if I wanted somebody to be competition for me, I honestly wouldn't pick anybody better than him because he's a guy that I've always been around and I've always been competing against. I mean, I competed against him before camp last year when we were in Tennessee at a camp, Uh, both of us plan to go back to that too. But, you know, I tell myself, man, I'm, my whole career, I, all it is is based on competition and stuff like that. But it is 1v1. You know, it is you and you only. Oh, yeah. I like you know, that, though. You don't have, I like that. Yeah. And I, that's just the mentality I'm I'm always tried to have for myself. And just, I've been trying to just continue to just get that there and just develop it more and more. And, like, you know, it's mano y mano. I'm all I got. You know, I'm the only one that on the team right now on a 53-man roster that knows how to punt a football well enough to win the game. Big facts. So, you know, I have to have that same mentality for myself, you know, when you're in a competitive sense, too. Because some, sometimes with, with kicking and with punting, what people don't understand is the harder you try, the worse that ball is most likely going to be. Mm. So, so, like, it's, it's, it's like just golfing. like golf. <laughs> Jeez. It's yeah, like like it's, golf. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's very similar. Like, you know, you try to get behind a shot too much in a golf, in a golf swing, and the next thing you know, you slice the hell out of the ball. The, the, a punt's going to do the same thing. Okay. <laughs> you got to be in like the we, groove. So yeah, man. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, and that's why I try to, I try to like explain this sometimes to people because it's more than just kicking the ball. You know, like you really got to have yourself mentally prepared enough to when you're in an NFL game, your your anxiety and all of that's going to be through the roof. Number one, you're going to be anxious. I mean, it's a football game. You know, you got mm-hmm. sixty plus thousand people looking at you. But at the same time, I can't be an amped up linebacker ready to go blitz a gap and kill somebody in that gap. You, you know, yeah. like I can't have that gotta, same you, you energized. Snap yeah, I can't wait, have that same energy. many tally. plays where you can come back? Yeah. Like, like we literally work on like when I was in high school for a set for a little quick throwback, right? So my I still had the same kicking coach, but when I was in high school and I was transitioning over when I was going to Georgia Tech, we did small stuff like, um, like running onto the field from the sideline while training like small stuff like yeah, that yeah. that gets you in that zone of like all right look i'm in i'm in the game i know i got people watching and all of that but you got to have the mental capacity to be able to concentrate and focus on just and just punting and you can't have your heart rate too high so like we would literally do like do maybe a small like jog or something like that he'd make you jog onto the field get ready for a punt but you're already your heart rate's elevated, so mm-hmm. you have to get yourself back down right. to be able to, you know, get back into that right, com- that right comfortable power zone. So you relax and lose, like yeah. Yeah, like we t- I try to say that you know, smooth is fast, but fast is it smooth? And that's like the terminology right. I like yeah. using with my feet that's and like, like my footwork stuff like that, because you're off a little bit, your foot's, you you know, you're a half a step longer than your regular stride is when you're when you're about to punt. That punch not gonna fly the same. So it's very, very critical of like being able to stay in the game, but also get my heart rate to a certain point to where it's not too elevated to where I'm trying too hard, and the next thing you know, it's not, it's not there. So you know, 
it's just small stuff like that. You really just try to hone in on the off season, man, and you know, just let that off season work show when the season gets here.